Hey guys, so today I'll be teaching you how to restore and do a quick little touch-ups on your shattered backboard Air Jordan 1s. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to clean up all the shaggy edges. I'll show you how to mix the perfect color to match and you, don't, you won't even have to repaint the whole shoe. You can just touch up certain spots and keep your vintage sneakers looking really nice and crispy. So the first thing we're going to do is mix the paint to match up your orange on your shattered backboard. First color you're going to need is going to be tangerine. The second color you're going to need is going to be orange. The third color you're going to need is going to be chili red. fourth color you're going to need to make this orange is going to be yellow. And the last and final color is going to be white. Make sure you also have some duller around because you don't want to have a shiny look that's not going to match up with the original finish on the sneaker. Also you're going to want a little container like this to mix your paint in and store it in just in case you have a little left over for the next day. In order to make the shattered backboard color, you're gonna have to do most of the mixture is around tangerine. Then you're gonna have to add in a little bit of orange, a couple drops of chili red, and a little bit of yellow. You can play with the white to get the correct shade between oranges. No blacks are needed in this color. You're gonna use just a little bit of duller to create a flat finish that you'll see throughout the video. When you finish, you should end up with a color that looks something like this right here. You're going to have to play with it. It took me about two or three hours to mix the color. I kind of just had my headphones in and I was just playing around with the color so I didn't get that on tape. But those are the colors I use and if you mix them just right and you play around with them enough, you'll find a perfect color match. So now that you have your paints and you have your color mixed, put it to the side and let's get to cleaning up the snow. Okay guys, so the reason why I only clean certain panels on the shoe is because certain areas have scuffs that I thought might be able to come out with a deep cleaning but obviously these are just paint scuffs so as you see right here around the back some up here as well as a little spot over here is gonna to have to be painted now the good thing about this sneaker is that the off-white color on both sides is pretty clean and it doesn't need to be painted so we don't have to worry about that today we're just gonna to have to focus on orange color and touch it up and get these sneakers looking good again For this part of the restoration, you're going to need your color that you mixed and you're going to need an angular brush. You can get all the materials featured in this video through the link in the description. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your color and you're just going to want to lightly go over the spots that need to be touched up. Now if you mix a good enough color with a good enough amount of dollar, then you'll be able to just touch it up, let it dry, and it won't even be noticeable. But if you didn't, then you might have to paint over the whole panel. As you see, that color was pretty spot on. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that all over the shoe and then I'll show you guys the finished product. 
Now I'm what they call, quote, internet famous. Royal paint is clean, I keep my steel stainless. Advice for the youngins, cause some of them so brainless. All right guys, so now that the painting process is done, the next step that we're gonna do is gonna be cutting off some of the shag around the check, as well as different areas around the shoe that we feel fit. Number one, I'm doing this because it really cleans up the shoe and it makes it look a lot neater. And these are also gonna be up for sale, so you definitely wanna make the shoe look as presentable as possible. We're gonna do this by using an X-Acto knife to just cut around the little edges and just get off some of the extra feathery leather. All right, guys. So one more thing this sneaker needs is gonna be some acetone. You're gonna acetone the rubber soles in order to take out layers of dirt, unyellowing them, all that good stuff. Acetone works great for that. So what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna get some acetone or some nail polish remover. This is straight acetone I pour in here. You're gonna get some cotton balls. Get them a little, a little damp. You're gonna take your sneaker. Make sure you don't touch your paint. And what I like to do is just, just lightly wipe around the sole. As you see, it picks up all the dirt, any layer of grit and grime. So overall, have these looking as new as possible. So I'll finish that, and then I'll get back to you. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. All these needed was a quick couple touch-ups, fix a couple details. As you know, these are worth a lot, so it's definitely important to keep these vintage and keep these looking really nice and clean. These are size nine, they're for sale. If you would like them, you can contact me and my description below will have all the information. Um, if you want any work done, any restoration work or any custom work, feel free to either DM me on Instagram at Big Apple Customs or you can email me, everything will be in the link in the description uh, as well as the products I use in this video there'll be a link in the, in the description taking you directly to the website where I got all the paints all the brushes exacto knives everything used in the video other than that I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please leave a like comment and subscribe yeah, and I'm laughing like, and I'm laughing like, and I'm laughing like.